Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm uh, very excited about this one. Today we're going to the Isle of Man. So I've uh, hinted it a couple of times, mentioned it mentioned it to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here, we're at Gatwick Airport. Um, we're going. The flight is in a couple of hours. We got here a little bit early, uh, but uh, yeah, early start. But let's get going. Uh, we've got to find a uh, bus to get to the terminal. Same store again. Oops. No idea what happened there. Just dropped it and it went everywhere. <laughs> Um, so we've got to find a shuttle bus to get to the terminal for the park the long stay again. Um, it's just cheaper in <laughs> the long stay. So yeah, right, let's go and do that and I'll see you uh, when we're in the terminal. <laughs> it wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't show you the uh, premiere in room. <laughs> there we are, all fairly standard. That bag is the heaviest bag ever with all the coins in for the, uh, the trip. Um, the plan being to swap rather than to just withdraw. The view, oh, I've had better views, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's literally the view. So yeah, I think we're on the other side, the back end of the, uh, of the hotel. But anyway, no isolation this time, no testing straight through. It was quite a busy flight to be fair, but we uh, did a taxi share and uh, that was all good. Um, but I'm going to go and see whether I can go to the bank. <laughs> First of all, I'm desperate, just eager to get some coins, so I'll see you uh, in a bit. So I've managed to get to the bank and swap some £2 coins. You can see, oh, there's a Charles Dickens there and some other Isle of Man ones. But obviously this was, whoops, what we did yesterday. Um, lots of coins there. Um, I'm sure I will upload that as a separate video, <laughs> but uh, these ones I'm also going to film now um, So I might show you guys some highlights in this vlog, but I haven't really filmed much outside I just kind of haven't been feeling the vibe for it. Maybe I will go and do some sightseeing today as well Because um, we've got the whole day here, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna crack on with these uh, these two pound coins <laughs> And hopefully we get a Tosha cat. Right, so coins have been hunted. Look out for those coming up on the channel very very shortly My head's a bit of a mess, 
it's just the uh, <laughs> the sea air has got to me, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've, all the coins are sort of sorted out, bagged up down there. Um, but uh, yeah, there's also some of the rejects down there. Um, I've been able to swap some of the coins for some notes um, because otherwise my back and shoulders, I don't know if I can carry all this stuff back. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to find a way of doing that. But uh, obviously, yeah, what I'm going to do now probably is go and have a little wander around and see if I can do some, uh, some sightseeing and maybe take you around the island as well. Here are a couple of uh, other things I bought that I thought were pretty cool when I saw them. I couldn't resist when I saw coins. <laughs> They're just sort of little tokens really. Um, fairy bridge. Now this is interesting. When we came in the taxi, uh, we drove over the fairy bridge and the taxi driver was like, you have to say hello to the fairies and then you get good luck. <laughs> so I thought, well, especially in respect to wanting good luck with coins, I thought I'd definitely say hello to the fairies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool and I thought I'd probably share them with you as well. Right, so I'm out and about. Obviously, this is the first sort of out and about vlog bit I've kind of done really. Um, going down to the, uh, the harbour, so just run across the road without getting without getting run over. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so let's go and have a little look. I've got my little uh, selfie stick as well, so I can go be really far away. <laughs> it's not really a selfie stick, actually, it's just my camera arm, but uh, I'm sort of taking it out and using it, uh, using it here. The only sort of sight that I can really see is the Tower of Refuge which I will show you in just a second. So we're getting right to the end of the land here, but it's all nicely lit up. <laughs> and I think it's the one that's on the 5P, which is quite interesting. But uh, yeah, obviously I'll put a Douglas there. <laughs> and I'll get a nice, uh, nice picture. Uh, one of the, I think it was the taxi driver or someone was telling me that the Tower of Refuge was built as kind of a, a place of refuge, obviously, um, for people that were trying to sail into the island, getting caught out at sea and they sort of clamber onto the island and get uh, get sort of uh, help if you like. So yeah, there it is. <laughs> it looks a lot bigger in real life than it does on the uh, camera, but uh, you've got the whole of uh, Douglas there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's an interesting building behind me there. But no, it's uh, not to make you too dizzy. <laughs> no, it's great really, isn't it? Um, Isle of Man, there's a lot of wind farm over there as well. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but uh, it's really cold as well. I'm starting to shiver a bit. But it uh, looks like the tide is out at the moment. So now I'm just trying to take it all in really, obviously I'm only here for a day, it's uh, nearly the end of the day, thought I'd come up before it gets dark, but uh, yeah, as I said, been to most of the banks, if not all the banks, um, some of them helpful, some of them polite but not helpful, <laughs> um, but yeah, the only sort of memorial bit is down here, what does this say, this says, in honour um, and to the memory of all who served at the Royal Air Force Air Sea Rescue and Marine Crafts Unit based at ports and harbours on the Isle of Man during and after World War II. Mm. Very interesting. I guess, well, looks like there used to be something in there. <laughs> but not anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, I potentially could have gotten around and seen a place I want to see, maybe like Milner's Tower and stuff, but it's like the complete other side of the island, it's the only problem, but uh, just the guy over there who's uh, giving me the looks, but I don't know. <laughs> you do get all the looks. I don't really care. <laughs> Vlogging in public something I get used to, but I'm not really in public to be fair, I'm kind of out of the way. Um, so it looks like there's actually a Costa HQ or something, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, I've sort of been standing here, sort of rambling for a bit. Um, I'm going to go and see if I can get something to eat. Um, obviously breakfast was good, um, just a standard premiere and breakfast. Uh, they do dinner but I'm not really going to pay for it and then I'm going to probably do some vlogging tomorrow morning um, through the airport etc. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they do have these sort of weird little roundabout things. They're not really roundabouts, again the taxi driver was telling me. Um, they have literally like these big circles in the road, like just circles and then there's no rules or legislation, it's literally just just go, like free-for-all. <laughs> I suppose it helps because people are actually paying attention to what they're doing. They're not just relying on people to give away, so they actually stop and take a minute to think. So, 
yeah, I'm going to start walking and uh, we will see um, where this takes me. It's just nice walking along the pier, walking along the seaside. Don't get that at home, where I live anyway. <laughs> Unless you live near the sea in the UK, but uh, wouldn't want to be swimming in that now. Very, very cold, I'd imagine. <laughs> But uh, no, it's just stunning really. A lot of the uh, shops have been able to give me some coins. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the coins hunts I did. I did a big bag of 50p's and a big bag of £2, so they'll be up as their own separate video. Um, and the other ones, I don't know, I, I might just leave them in, <laughs> just put them in this vlog, why not? Give you a little bit of a, an insight into the coin hunting if you didn't see those videos, or if you haven't seen those videos yet. But, uh, definitely go and watch them when they're up, I don't know when they'll be uploaded, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I love having this arm as a little camera holder actually, it means I go really far away <laughs> and then I can keep my arm by my side as well, but it kind of draws attention I suppose, but oh well. Um, let's go and see if I can find anything around here. It's a big Lloyds Bank building as well, I don't know if you can see that very well, but that whole building behind me there has got a big Lloyds logo on. Um, Definitely this has been a lot more interesting in terms of coins than Jersey or Guernsey was. There's just a whole lot more variety here and some stunning finds coming up as well, <laughs> if you haven't seen the, uh, the videos yet. But yeah, as I said, Tower of Refuge is all lit up. I don't know if you can see it right now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, oh, this side, can't do zoom on this one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll probably just get a little... Uh, let me just pause the recording and I'll do it in a second. <laughs> there we go. can zoom in on that one. There it is. <laughs> so yeah. But uh, as I've been here as well, we've managed to get past 700 subscribers, which is very, very exciting. Um, coming for that 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> We'd love to get the 1,000 uh, subscribers. Oh, here we are. And um, we've got the Douglas Trail. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's going to be the mirror image or not. Maybe it is, I don't know, <laughs> but I'll read it out to you anyway. It says, the uh, St Mary's Isle, or Conister Rock, has over the centuries been the scene of countless shipwrecks and lost lives. At high tide, the rocks were hidden just below the waves, oh, sorry, yeah, um, waiting for unsuspecting drifting boats. Um, da -da 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 -da. So William Hillary proposed the building an extension to the Douglas Harbour. Basically, yeah, he built an island um, with the uh, the Tower of Refuge. Um, oh. Visit to the island by poet William Wordsworth inspired him to write about the Tower of Refuge. Oh. And that's what it's been known about. So William Wordsworth came up with the, uh, the phrase Tower of Refuge. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. But uh, yeah, so I think all the rocks are covered up um, during um, high tide because it was just the tower was poking out of the water, but now you can see all the rocks during low tide. There's a little bit of a beach as well. <laughs> Not that I want to go down there. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably about it really. Um, as I said, I haven't done too much filming out and about because it's not really been too much to see. I've been told by a lot of the locals that Douglas is, um, well, to quote what they said, not what I said, a dump. I don't think it's a dump. I think it looks looks quite cool, but the novelty factor is there, I suppose. Um, but they said I need to get out and about a bit. I haven't really been able to get out and about. Can't really walk anywhere. Would have loved to have been able to, but just loving being here, to be honest. Um, I've got another little uh, memorial bit over there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm probably going to go and see if I can get myself back to the hotel and I'll probably join you tomorrow and I'll probably do some filming in and around the airport. So let's go and have a little wander through here and get back to the hotel as well. I try not to get run over as I cross the road. <laughs> There's a couple of statues here as well, let's have a look at what these statues are. We've got... <laughs> Three statues there. What does this say? Uh, the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. There's the Bee Gees on the floor. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's some sort of Manx band or something. But yeah, I'm going to go across the road and see if I can get back to the hotel. I've kind of burnt my way around a little bit. Not really, but uh, just a little bit. See if I can quickly whiz across the road. 
without getting run over. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Through the Marks and Spencers. And then that should take me back. Uh, well, I'm not going to walk through the Marks and Spencers filming actually. I'll just go around the outside. But <laughs> Uh, Christmas decorations as well. It's like middle of November, it doesn't really feel Christmassy yet, but uh, I suppose you've got to have it up for about a month or so, otherwise you don't really get the uh, don't really get to make the most of it. I suppose. Don't really know where I'm going. I think it's this way. <laughs> you've got the Island Man Bank behind me as well, which looks to be the same as that West, but I don't know. Obviously, Max style. A lot of. Uh, Merchandise stores as well. I think it might be this one. Let's have a look. I have no idea where I'm going now. <laughs> Potentially this way. But we shall see. Oh, here we are. Here's the entrance to the uh, Marks and Spencer's car park. And then the hotel's just behind that. <laughs> I think I've kind of got to grips with where I'm going here. At first I was just following the map, but I kind of know where everything is now. But, uh, as I said, find something to eat and then I'll see you tomorrow at the airport. <laughs> and that is it, it's home time now. Uh, I've just packed up uh, everything in the room. Um, I've got a very heavy rucksack to carry back with me, <laughs> but uh, we should be alright. I'm going to now go and get a taxi to uh, the airport and I will see you maybe when I'm back home. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's not been as extensive as the Jersey vlog was, but uh, it's something, I suppose. <laughs> and I'll show you all the coins probably on a live stream, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will see you in a bit.